Welcome on back to the channel, y'all. LFD said he wanted some catfish. He wanted to go jugging, and that's what we are going to do today. Let's get in the water, and today's video is sponsored by AG1. Let me tell you about it while we're launching the boat. If you guys haven't heard of AG1 yet, this stuff is amazing, and this is something you're gonna wanna put into your daily routine to keep you running at your best. First thing I do when I get up, I take me a scoop of AG1, put it in some cold water, drink that down, it's delicious, and then I get a little exercise, get the blood pumping, and then I'll start my day. Simply put y'all, AG1 just makes me feel good. I feel like I have sustained energy throughout the day, I've got better mental clarity, less stress, and it makes my gut feel good as well. And there's a lot of days where I feel like I don't even have to have that cup of coffee in the morning. I just take my AG1 and I'm good to go. AG1 is stuffed to the gills with 75 high quality vitamins and minerals and whole food source nutrients. It's also got your antioxidants, your superfoods and mushrooms, prebiotics and probiotics, stress adaptogens, and it supports your digestion system as well. So you don't have to take any other supplements and vitamins with this. You just take one of these tasty scoops in the morning and you are good to go. Even though I harvest most of my proteins and I try to eat pretty clean, it is still very hard to get all the proper vitamins and minerals and other nutrients that you need for your body to be at its best. This is just an easy way to do that. After taking AG1 for a month, I'm a believer, man. This stuff just works for me. I just feel better while I'm taking it. So if you want to start taking AG1, it's simple. Visit the link in the description. Go check out those amazing ingredients and get signed up to get some AG1 sent to your doorstep. Thanks to AG1 for sponsoring today's video. And speaking of high quality nutrients, now that we're in the water, let's go get LFD us some LFD coming out of the bullpen. 20 years throwing a cast net, throws it out there, gets, gets our gills for the morning. Toss them on in. Nothing but bucket. Yes, sir. All right, Dad. Why don't you motor us up? All right, Dad. The old uh, electric start is back there on the motor itself. Yep, yep, that's it. There you go. All right, guys, so making our baits. Actually, just gonna cut the tail off. Feed that to the minners. And we're gonna try to get three little sections out of these guys, maybe four. We'll actually cut that. Uh, dorsal spine off too, give the hook a little more clearance. God, what a beautiful morning. It's nice. There you go. Now we'll see if it uh, porpoises or not. Didn't happen to see a pair of sunglasses back there, did you? The good news is the boat is running really good. I think my problem was weight distribution. So me and dad yesterday actually raised the motor back up and I'm sitting up front, of course, dad sitting in the back. Having the weight up front is definitely helpful. Full throttle, no porpoising. We're at our first spot. We're gonna start setting out the line, so let's go. I'm rigging these so that I've got plenty of gap in the hook. I'm not going through the middle, I'm just going through one side, the big media side. I always wanna make sure the, uh, if I get a scale on the hook point, take that off. Don't want anything impeding on the hook set. We'll go with it, we'll put a big fat head on this one right here. There we go. All right, so we'll go ahead and drop this one. <laughs> yeah. 
just have to go by your go by the gut. Yeah. The old ways. Just about perfect. Uh, yeah, that one's getting bit. Yeah! <laughs> that was fast. Yeah, I don't know. Don't know if he's on there, but he's definitely yeah, getting bit. Yeah. We've already got a fish on. It's been uh, two minutes. Oh, big old gar just swirled by that one. All right, this one right here looks like it's, it's not moving anymore. Oh, yeah, it is. Yep, got a fish on, got something on. Here we go, Dad. Blue cat. Ooh, look, oh, look at the size of that thing. That didn't take long, huh? Man, what a nice fish. Oh man, one of the other hooks broke off. I think we had something else on here. I think something else was on and pulling against it. Yeah. There we go. Two minutes in, we're jugged up. It's gonna be a good eater. Our weight's gone, the bottom hook's gone. So, we'll throw this one to the side. We'll have to yeah. get another one rigged. I'll do it. Bombs away. Perfect. All right, guys, we've got all the deep lines set. So we've got Five over here. We're gonna go check the two that I left at, at this other point up here, and then we'll just kind of run back. And I, we might actually drop a, a rod and reel too in this spot if it's, it's hot. Already got one in the cooler though. That's awesome. Give it a rip. Oh my God. Over on our other spot. We gotta chase him down, Dad. Not sure What do you think about this? Hey, that's cool. <laughs> oh yeah. Let's see what we got here. Oh man, this feels big. Oh my gosh, it's a huge gar. It's a huge gar. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Whoa. Whoa, <laughs> Whoa shoot. Maybe, that, maybe that's what cut our first line. Oh my God. Hey, uh, wait, wait, wait. You gotta be careful not to. Nooch it, nooch it, because it's, it's under the boat. It's, it's, it's under the boat. It's neutral. Don't want to get it. Is it neutral? Yeah. Okay. I don't know where the jug is. It's, it's underneath us somewhere. Thing ah well this is this is a first time encounter. He's gone. Is he hiding under the boat you think? It's it's gone. Yeah. Like he took it. Oh my gosh, that was a big guard. Oh yeah. It looked like a target. what stole my jug last time I mean eventually he's got to come up I think we got to get a bigger boat <laughs> <laughs> Wow yeah that thing was like half the size of the boat for real well that's what I was thinking I was banging around there he is no that's a different one it's his cousin wow his nephew big gar hole I am extremely impressed right now that fish is strong that's oh we got one on here we got one on here dad this one's going this one's going start it up let's grab this one this one's going right here apparently we got to get on these things quick hopefully it's not another gar oh gosh this feels big too oh it just popped off whatever it was i think it was another gar
I think it was a gar. I tell you what, this seems to be a gar hole. Let's, uh, gosh, I hate to lose a jug. Like, where the heck? The fish is back. This is like Jaws. Hopefully he's tired. I, I got to get the pliers ready. This thing's huge. Do not get your hands. All right, nooch it. Don't let him jump in the boat. I don't want him to break the lines either. Oh yeah. What you gonna do, big boy? Oh, he's double hooked. He's double hooked. Oh my gosh. I don't want him to jump in the boat either. Woo, he got some teeth. He's double hooked. Oh, God. Okay, I'm not. He slightly cut me there. But we got both hooks. We're good to go. He hit you with his mouth? Yeah, that was his mouth. Needle sharp teeth. Man, you're lucky. That's why I, I chose the long nose pliers <laughs> for the long nose gar. Oh, they're everywhere. Out here. They're everywhere, man. Let's go back to the other hole. This okay. is like, this is extreme gar hole right now. All right, this looks good here. Okay, got a nice array of jugs in our sight. Nice and calm, definitely see them bobbing. Pretty good start. So, uh, did you have breakfast this morning? I did not. Did not? No, I got up too early. It's called AG1. It's all your essential vitamins and minerals and macronutrients, micronutrients that you need to feel you through the day. Just put it in the water? You just put it in the water, shake it up. It tastes good. You know, some of these drinks, they just taste like kale. Waiting on these jugs to just start going, y'all. Got a little injury. Gar, gar injury. Note to self, probably carry some gloves next time. Oh, 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 we're getting bobbed. I'm pretty sure, I don't think that's the wake. Oh yeah, oh, yeah. start her up, dad. Start her up, we got one. Go. She's getting tug. Tug is the drug. We have movement. Oh, that one's getting, oh, far one, far one's getting bopped. Neutral. Um, I don't feel anything on here. Might need to rebate it. Definitely got hit. We're cleaned. All right. Throw this one back. Get toyed with out here. I want. I want. All of them eat like that first one did. Oh yeah. She bobbing. All right, this one looks, oh yeah, we got, oh! Oh no, still got it. Felt like it came off, still got it. Still on. Let's go, catfish. Channel. Nice one. Sir, and he was nice enough to keep our bait on here. Nice channel cat, twisted us up a little bit, but it's gonna eat good. Easy? Yeah. Yeah. It's going. Good eye, Jeez. good eye, Pop. 
All right, we got another one on. Lines in. We got to chase down Moby Dick. Actually, I don't think that one's Moby Dick, but might be Nancy Dick. Take me to the buoy, Skipper. Here we aye, go. Aye. aye, aye, Captain. That definitely looks like a fish tug. It doesn't look like a turtle tug. Sometimes we'll start moving away from the boat. <laughs> I'm thinking catfish. Nice boating skills. Oh my gosh, just jerked it out of my hand. This is something big, whatever it is. It ain't little. First time I've had one jerked out of my hand like that. Oh yeah, good catfish. Oh yeah, nice. There we go. Yes. Settle down. Fresh. That is a fresh one. That's a big channel, I think. I don't know. Ooh, Ooh, just had barely him. had him hooked. Oh, here I yeah. Open up that cooler for me. He's gurgling. Yes, sir. Woo, barely got him, Dad. You know, can you imagine catching like a 40 pound? I can't. I mean, after seeing the gar just tug this thing down, I'm wondering, I might need a, like a giant milk jug to hold these things. Yeah. Even then. Pretty successful morning so far, guys. We got three catfish in the box, one giant gar that uh, took a snap at me. Dad, I think we got another one on. Oh, yeah. Oh, that guy just wiped out. And our jug's getting tugged. Literally just dropped this one back down. Oh, my gosh. It's a giant wake. Giant wake right here. Put it in neutral. I want to see if... Sometimes they'll, they'll come back for that second hook. Oh, no. No, he's on there. He's on there. Yeah, he's moving. All right, that's good. Uh, I feel something on here. Literally 20 seconds after. It doesn't feel like it's fighting too good. Here's another catfish. It's a blue cat. There nice. we go. That's what we want right there. Those are the tasty ones. That one. Oh, yes, sir. Pliers. I got them right here. Sir. All right, drop it back down. Keep an eye on her. Oh, you're going over it. Hang on, neutral, neutral, neutral. We got a fish on. Really? I think so, yeah. Oh, yeah. Wow. He must have just been sitting. He was just hanging there. Let's go. How many is that? Four or five? Four? I think there's one on here too, Dad. There's one on here too. Little guy, it'll eat. It looks like you got both the hooks. Not so little. Yes, sir. Just gonna throw two giant heads on here. We'll we'll go toss it out on that deep side. Okay. Try to go for Bertha. Here we go, guys. Two big heads on here. Whatever gets this one is going to be a slobber knocker. Oh yeah. Oh, that's testing the crispy that's right there. Close. That was good. That was good. Oh, purple big wake. It just loves us so much. Can't get away. Oh yeah. Jug of moving. Got one on. Oh my gosh, the head is like way up the line. I think this is, was this the one with the heads? 
Ooh, good catfish. There we go. Yes, sir. Oh, don't tangle those lines up, you naughty kitty. Looks like he broke. Oh, he broke my weight off. You big meanie. I think I'm going to have to bump up to 40 pound mono because I'm definitely losing some gear on these bigger ones. Tasty kitty. Heck yeah. Tails are sticking out of the cooler. That's what we want to see. Woo! Crank her up, Captain. We got another one. Oh, yeah. Can't even drop a fishing pole in the water for more than five seconds. Woof. This is. I know. We need some wind. They're just kind of giving up. It's so hot. They tug for a minute and then they just, they just stop. There he's going. He's going a little bit. Let's see what we got here. Doesn't feel like much. They can fool you though. Oh, it's it's a decent one. <sighs> I mean, I think we might as well just reel this one in. Yeah. Kind of start winding it down, I think. Uh, oh, yeah, that one's going. Oh, oh my oh. gosh. That. It's go time. Man, that was a huge hit. It took the jug all the way under. I'm not seeing any movement right now, but it was a huge hit. Oh yeah, the fish is on there. Oh baby. Oh yeah. You gonna give us a show right by the boat? Oh my gosh. Oh, I think it just came off. Oh no, no, it's on there. Nude, kill the motor. Either it's coming up or I lost it. Oh my gosh, I think I lost it. God, it was on the, oh my gosh. Look at the goo on that Oh line. my gosh, yeah, it felt huge. It felt huge, I felt it come off the line. Dad, come on, man. Ah. So we're out, of, we're out of bait at this point, so whatever we bring up, you know, we'll just reel it in and Let's secure it. those down there. Yeah, we got two drifters. We're gonna go check these. This one was just getting tapped. I think there's something on here, Dad. No. I think there's something on here. Oh, yeah. Oh, we have two. Oh, oh. damn, we lost the bigger oh, one. Oh, oh, oh. I thought it was going to catch him in the face. God, we lost the bigger one. We had two on there. I thought this had gotten further out here. Golly. Had two on there, just not moving. We might have more on. Oh, gosh, that one's getting tugged again. The big one? The, bit, the one that we, uh, it about bit it out of my hand. Yeah. That one just got bopped. Neutral. Feels like something's on there. Yes, sir. Oy! Old blue. Old blue got it. Now the blue cats are over here. We're just chasing them around. That, this is the one that came back and hit it like a few times. Give me those pliers, please. Heck yeah. There we go. I am inspired by your catfishing capabilities. <laughs> Makes you want to go do it, huh? Yeah, I'm going to be in the kayak. I'm going to. I think the kayak would be really fun. Yeah. I'll raise them up like they were mine. <laughs> oh, shoot. There's something big on here. Oh, you think so? Yeah, no. Yeah, yeah. Nooch it. Something big on here. Oh, we, I, oh. Oh, God. Gosh. It's a big one. Oh, yeah. He took the, he broke, he broke the line. Ah! He got the head. That was the one that got the head. Big boy. Yeah. Nice one. Woo hoo! Little bonus one on the way in. Oh, gosh. Tails are hanging out. Uh, them? 
Hey. You wanted some fish, you got some fish, buddy. <laughs> That's pretty good. Oh, yeah. We'll take it back in now. Uh, I want to show you guys, show my dad a, uh, a technique that I tried the other day for cleaning catfish on some bigger ones. That's It's really cool. I think you guys need to see it. So let's head to the house, get the flay knife out. Fishing Freaks, it's cleaning time here at LFD's tailgate. Now, these are all for dad. Dad said he wanted catfish. We went out jugging, we got them kitty cats. So I've already got some in, in the freezer at home. These are gonna be for him. And I just wanted to show you guys a way that you can clean some of these bigger blue cats uh, and your smaller channel cats too. That is pretty simple and uh, you just gotta be careful. Standard fillet knife and you can, um, you can get a catfish done pretty quick using this method. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and just fillet the, um, the meat off of the fish with the skin on. So I'm gonna go down, I'm gonna go around this little dorsal fin. Okay, and then come back up to the spine. You wanna make sure you're getting low to that spine. So once I get about past that anal fin, I'll just stick the knife through. Just press it down go along the spine. All the way off. And the ribs are right here. And what you want to do is just take the angle of your blade and go out like that. Just go out. all those ribs, just kind of flick it. Go in there and just flick it out. It helps if you can just sort of pull on it as well. This last little section will just pull out. There you go. So there's your filet. We got the skin still on. So what you could do is take you a pair of pliers I have catfish pliers that I use. Dad doesn't have some. I'm going to have to get you some for your birthday, Dad. Um, there's a link down below. I have them in my Amazon store. You guys can get them. These are like a must-have. I use them on crappie and everything, too. You want to have a good flat surface. Okay, we're going to pinch that skin right there as far back as we can. And we'll take our knife. We'll press down. We don't want to try to go all the way down through the skin. This is where you want to have a good flat fillet knife, good thin blade. And I want to just pull it kind of along this edge here and I'm going to rock my, my blade back and forth. And the key is just keeping it level. And all that skin we just pulled off. It's like snake skin. And I think that that's faster than trying to take the skin off first. And uh, it seems to work on these on these bigger ones. Another thing that you can do on these bigger blue cats and uh, flatheads, any kind of bigger catfish, you're, this this fillet will just probably fit in the pan to fry whole. But if you had a bigger one, you're gonna have to cut it in two anyways. So you can start you can start that cut in the, in the middle of the fish or right behind this anal fin right here. You can just go ahead and cut through, slide that off, and make it two pieces. Do one here, and then do the other one. It's because you're going to have to cut the fish anyways. But beautiful piece of meat right there, Dad. That's going to... Big date night with that catfish. A couple cold pops. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Can't get that at uh, Papa's Steakhouse. You know what I mean? <laughs> On the bigger ones, you have the belly meat as well. This one isn't huge, but... Right where you just cut the ribs, you just went on that side of the ribs and, and filleted that off. If you go on the underside of the ribs, I'm just gonna go right under those ribs and then I'll come up here and go through the, the chest basically and go around those fins. Okay, so now <clears throat> on the belly, you have this nice little section of meat you know, it's got the skin on there, but again, take your pliers, lay it flat. And 
and then you've got some beautiful belly meat right there and you can also fillet this little silver skin I guess you could call it that pearly skin you can fillet that off too and then you've got some nice belly chunks they've got a little more um, meatier flavor I would say not as as pure as the other parts but they're still very good very edible and I like to eat them sometimes I'll just leave them on there quite honestly that little silver skin doesn't really taste that bad yeah, it's kind of pretty it's, you know you're eating fish when you're eating it so anyways that's a good way to just increase your harvest make sure you're getting the most out of your catch get you a good sharp knife a pair of pliers get to work I'm talking to you dad This is actually not the catfish. This is crappie that I caught the other day. The Rackleys, we eat a lot of fish. And usually on the weekends, we get together for family dinner. We got all the catfish clean. We're gonna vacuum seal them tonight. And then we're gonna have them for weeks to come. We got delicious crappie I caught the other day. Just fresh. It's just lovely to catch these fish, bring them home, have the family gather around, enjoy the harvest, and talk about the, the memories from the boat, which were awesome today, crazy. I mean, I got bit by a fish, it was, it was nuts. We had lots of catfish. My dad, I think he's turned on to jug line fishing. He's gonna be doing this out of his kayak. I guarantee you, he had a great time. So it was just, it was good stuff, guys. Smash the like button and thank you guys for tuning in. And you know what to do, subscribe to the channel to see more outdoor action and I'll see you out there on another adventure.